In today's video, I'm gonna talk about the glitches that everyone hated in Dragon Age Inquisition. Well, maybe not entirely. Starting with number 21, the flying glitch. This can happen to you or the enemies. Didn't know exactly how this bug is triggered, but it does occur from time to time. It definitely feels nice when this happens to you, except for the damage you have to take. And this also happens a lot when you're fighting the big monsters, such as the giants and ogres. This will send them pretty high in the air then the full damage is gonna finish them off, which saves you a lot of effort. Number 20. The Mages with Infinite Barrier If you turn on a child or walk softly, the major enemies could regenerate their barriers over time, which should not be much of a problem if you have powerful weapons. But if you're just starting the game in the hinterlands, this promoted mages could become your nightmare, and you may not be able to defeat them, cause they'll always replenish their barriers before you can destroy them. This is absolutely one of the most annoying bugs in this game. You either escape the fight or reload your latest save file. Number 19. The NPCs won't stop drinking the healing potion. This glitch is also caused by one of the trials. Rub some dirt on it. With this trial turned on, all the healing potions only heal one health. But the NPCs don't seem to care about that. They have infinite healing potions anyway. Number 18. Stuck in a fate after character creation. This has happened to a lot of people. A newly created character is stuck in some empty fate area at the beginning of the game. You can still walk around and explore the area, but there's nothing to interact with, nor you can save the game. You gotta be really furious when this happens to you, especially after spending a ton of time on character creation. Number 17. The Moonwalking Glitch. This often happens when you jump to trigger the conversation. If the timing was right, your character will flow above the ground, moving their arms and legs like the moonwalk. You'll be able to move your character across the map like you're dancing. But this will stop if you do another action, like jumping or looting, which is pretty hilarious to me. Number 16. The Leaping Shot Can Crash Your Game The Artificer is obviously one of the most powerful classes in this game. Not only it kills any dragons in a few seconds, this also crashes your game. If you activate the focus ability, Hell of Arrows, then keep tapping the leaping shot. Number 15. The Druffler won't follow you. During the quest where the Druffler run, you need to lead a stray Druffler back to the farm, but turns out this is quite a stubborn beast and will do whatever it wants except follow you. On the other hand, it can also help you wipe out the level 12 Fey Rift along the river. In this case, I don't know I should be happy or upset. What do you guys think about this one? Number 14. The annoying sound effect of the Elusive While you may enjoy having the Elusive on your whole squad when in the fight, but it also comes with a price. The annoying buzzing sound effect. This will accompany you during the dialogues, cutscenes, even after you go back to Skyhold. The only way to get rid of it is reduce them to zero by taking damage. There's even a mod out there to help you remove this sound effect. I'm just glad I'm not the only one who hated this. Number 13. AI not using spells. This could happen not only in the Inquisition, but also Dragon Age Origins. Your squad mates just suddenly stop using any spells, but basic attacks. Sometimes you won't even notice until they die quickly. The only way to fix this glitch is to restart your game. Additionally, any character may also freeze during the combat. This applies to allies or foes. The character simply stops fighting, holding its last pose in position. You can help them out by simply tapping the disengage command. Number 12. The Axe of the Dragon Hunter Schematic You can buy this weapon schematic in the Black Emporium as long as you have enough money. The stats look quite decent, undoubtedly the best weapon schematic you can get in the early game. Furthermore, you can even upgrade it with a half and a pommel, which makes it even more powerful. But if you compare this one to other schematics, you notice that it shouldn't be able to be upgraded. But anyway, I think this is the glitch that everyone loves. Number 11. Use the Golden Nug to get free schematics. In order to have access to the Golden Nug, you need to complete the game at least once. Then interact with it to sing all of your collections from your previous gameplay, mainly schematics. But we can explore this feature a bit more. Say you want to buy a few schematics from the store. You don't have to actually spend any money to buy them. Just save your game first, then buy them all and upload them to the server via the golden nug. Then load the save file you just made. Interact with the golden nug again. You have all the schematics while keeping your money. 
Number 10. The combat role is broken. With the coming through upgrade, it deals a ton of damage. It also has a small AoE radius with only 2 seconds cooldown. You can pretty much roll any mobs and dragons to death. Number 9. Heal your party without potions. There is an exploit we can use to heal our party instead of using potion, the Enhanced Spell of Health, which raises the maximum health of the character wearing it. By equipping and unequipping a few times, you can restore any character to their full health. This is quite useful when you are not allowed to return to camp in certain classes. Number 8. Elemental Mines Fly Away This happens quite often in my gameplay. I'm still trying to find out exactly what caused this, but there's nothing I can do. It's annoying to see them fly off and waste all of your stamina. These mines also cannot be triggered by the larger monsters like the dragons, which is a bit disappointing. Number 7. You can't set up camp with enemies around. Well, it's not a bug, but it could be somewhat annoying when you accidentally attack some animals. Then they turn hostile and prevent you from setting up your camp. Especially in the Frost Pack Basin, where you finally got to the top of the tree, but you found this little guy stopping you from setting up your camp. You have to go down there and clear them up. Number 6. Ferric not knowing what became of Hawk. This is kind of a story bug, where you bring both Ferric and Hawk into the Fey. During the main quest, he aligns the abyss. If you choose to leave Hawk behind, Ferric will still ask you where Hawk is after you escape the fate. Where's Hawk? Where's Hawk? Number 5. The Infinite Loot Glitch This exploit works really well on chests that are random loose or contain specific items. As long as the chest contains more than one item, you have to leave at least one item in the chest, then leave and re-enter the map. All the loot will fully respawn. If the chest contains a schematic, you get a different schematic each time you perform this exploit. Number 4. The Skin That Shoes I don't know if it's a glitch, but it definitely seems weird to me. I mean, this armor is totally fine on a female character, but on a male character, it just looks unnatural. If we take a look closely, they still use the female model for the body, except for the head. I think Bioware didn't make a male version for this armor. That's why I never put this armor on my male characters. It just looks so weird. Number 3. Ability Grayed Out this glitch happens when keep spamming the same ability, it suddenly gets stuck. You won't be able to use it again until you cast another spell. The good thing is, this bug is not that common in this game. Number 2. Unlimited Influence This glitch works once you get Ferris the merchant. Go to his shop and purchase a book. Each book will give you influence. Buy as many books as you can, but before you exit the store, you sell all the books back to Ferris. Repeat this procedure within the same screen. When you finally exit the shop, you gain all the influence without spending an actual cent. Finally, we have number 1. The fire mines only do 1 damage. That's the bug that no one can get away with as long as you play the mage. And it happens almost half of the time when you cast a fire mine with a flaming array, which is extremely annoying to me. And yet it's still really powerful in this case. That's why everyone loves and hates this spell. And that's it for today's video. If you like this kind of content, don't forget to hit the like button or subscribe to my channel. And thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.